what we do in toc in this subject what we do most of the time what we study most of the time what we study in this toc subject let me tell you what we do then i will tell you why we do okay so first let me tell you what we do in this toc what we do in toc so actually what we do in toc is this is the simple thing we do in toc we recognize languages so if anyone ask you most of the time what we study in toc what we study in toc most of the time then that is recognizing languages recognizing languages recognizing languages we want to recognize language okay recognize languages this is what we do we want to recognize languages now what this means what this means recognizing languages or i can say accepting languages accepting languages these these two things are same okay these two things are same accepting languages recognizing languages all these these two things are same so what this means like what this means let me tell you so in toc you if i give you some language for example let me give you this language a a a b and b double a let me give you this language then what we do we want to recognize this language you can notice this is a language and what we want to do we want to recognize this language we want to recognize this language so if i tell you uh, tell me if i say that okay, let's assume there is a security guard okay let's assume there is a security guard here let's assume there is a security guard here and if this security guard is he, need, he needs to recognize these three people president prime minister okay let's assume these two people should be recognized means these two people should be allowed then what this what this what type of machine what type of security guard we need see if this security what this security guard needs to do he needs to recognize these two strings basically what it means it means that if p is coming if president is coming then okay yes okay he can go similarly if prime minister is coming yes he can go but if anything else is coming if anything else is coming then what should happen if anything else is coming then what should happen if anything else is coming then no if anything else is coming then no okay if anything else okay anything which is not in l anything which is not in l if it comes then answer should be no okay so very simple so this is the idea now what can i say about this okay what can i say about this security guard what can i say about this security guard i can say this security guard is recognizing this set yes or no this security guard can recognize this set can recognize this set yes or no can recognize this set can recognize l can recognize set l okay so this is the idea now you can notice that if i give you this language this is a language and if i am saying that m let's assume there is some machine i don't know what is this machine but let us assume that if m this is a machine this is uh, let's assume this is a machine m so some machine i don't know what type of machine but let's assume some machine m recognizes l what that means recognizes l there is a machine which recognizes l so there is a security guard which recognizes these people these people are recognized what it means what it means it means that in this m if you input a then what should be the output tell me what should be the output output should be yes accepted i can say output should be yes accepted in this machine if i give the input a b if i give the input a b then what should happen yes accepted that is also accepted that is also accepted but if i give the input in this machine in this machine m if i give the input b a b a then that should be rejected that should be rejected okay it should be rejected correct okay so very simple this is the this is the point so remember in toc in theory of computation most of the time what we study most of the time we study recognizing languages we want to recognize languages so what will happen you have some language okay there will be some language there will be some language language is set of strings you already know language is set of strings so let's assume some language you have then what we will do we will create a machine for this language we will create a machine this machine theoretical this is a theoretical machine of course like you are not going to take uh, you know uh, building machine and okay so basically you are not going to uh, create a mobile or computer 
you are going to create a theoretical machine. So this machine you are going to create, machine M you are going to create, which recognizes L, which recognizes L, which recognizes L. And what that means? What that means? Please understand what that means. That means what? Like this statement, uh, machine M recognizes L. This statement, what that, what this statement means? This statement means that in this M, if you put any string which is in L, in this M, if you put a string which is in L, which is in L, okay, then it will accept, then it will accept, and, and, and in this machine, if you input something which is not in L, if you input something which is not in L, then it will reject. This is what this machine will do. Is this clear? Like we say that ATM recognizes uh, like this, uh, your uh, vending machine, the vending machine, like for example, that recognizes uh, on the vending machine, it will be written. What will be written that it will recognize five rupee coin, 10 rupee, uh, 10 rupee coin. Yes or no? So something like that. So in that vending machine, let us assume there is a vending machine and that vending machine is recognizing two rupee coin and uh, five rupee coin and then you put 10 rupee coin so there is a vending machine in that machine if you if you put if you put uh, 10 rupee coin let us assume this is recognizing 2 rupee coin 5 rupee coin this is recognizing this and if you put 10 rupee coin then what will happen that will be i, I can say that will be rejected i can say that will be rejected like yes correct, correct that your face face recognition on the mobile that face recognition in the mobile if you put some other face if you put some other face, your own face, that should be accepted. If you put, okay, your own face, that should be accepted. That should be accepted. But if you put some other face, that should be rejected. If you put some other face, if you put some other face, that should be rejected. That should be rejected. Okay. So something like this. So this is what we do in the TOC subject. We want to recognize languages. So whatever language you have, for that language, we want to create a machine. Okay, and what this machine will do? This machine will recognize this language. And what this means? This machine will recognize this language. What this means? This means that if you give a string from the language, if you give a string from the language, it should be accepted. And if you give a string which is not in the language, it should be rejected. Okay, it should be rejected. This is what should happen. Now, now the question is very so this is the idea okay so if some string which is in the language some string from language some string from language so that should be accepted other string if you put which is not in language which is not in language that should be rejected this this is what should happen for example if your language is this please list see your language is english language your language is english language and this is your language milk food sleep and so on this is your language now if you give an english word to this machine this idiot machine then it will accept and if you give some these words which are not in language if you give these words which are not in these words are not in language correct these words are not in language you can notice so if you give these words then that will reject okay so this is the idea okay now let's see the next now why Okay, what is the interesting thing about recognizing languages? This is the question. You might be thinking, yes or no? You might be thinking, why this stupidity won't we, why we want to study this? Like, okay, why we want to study that? Okay, accept this string, accept this string. Create a machine which will accept these strings. Why we want to study? Yes or no? Like, what is interesting about this? Can anyone tell me? What is interesting about accepting languages? Why we care about recognizing languages? why we care about recognizing languages what is interesting about recognizing languages these these all these computer scientists okay from 1940 from alan turing at the time of alan turing from there okay till now why people are interested in recognizing languages this is the question like why we want to recognize languages so let me answer your question because recognizing languages means solving the problems let me tell you that recognizing languages actually recognizing languages is an abstract way of solving the problems recognizing languages is an abstract way 
is a abstract way is a abstract way of solving computational problem of solving computational problems of solving computational problem basically recognizing languages recognize if you re, if you recognize a language then basically you are solving computational problems recognizing languages is same as solving computational problems solving computational problems let me let me explain by example let's see simple example tell me let us assume there is a machine m okay there is first let me give you this language your language is a power 2 then you have a power 3 then you have a power 5 then you have a power 7 then you have a power 11 a power 13 okay this is your language this is basically set of all prime numbers yes or no i can say this is your a power p where p is prime where p is a prime now tell me if there is a machine i don't know which machine let us assume if there is a machine if there is a machine m if i create a machine m which recognizes l then what problem i am solving then which problem i am solving if there is a machine m if there is a machine m if i give you a machine m which recognizes l which recognizes l then then what can i say about this machine m then what can i say i can say this is solving the problem of prime yes primality testing very good okay this is this is detecting the prime numbers very good detection of prime numbers basically i can say then m is solving the problem m is solving a problem what is the problem it is solving m is solving a problem which problem it is solving it is solving the primality testing means detection of prime number means a given number is prime or not a given number is prime or not this problem is solved by m okay m is solving this problem what problem given number is prime or not given number is prime or not is prime or not this is a problem can i say this is a computational problem tell me given a given a number given number is prime or not is prime or not yes this is a computational problem and you can notice this problem is solved by this problem is solved by machine m this problem is solved by machine m correct or not yes or no what you will do this problem is solved by machine m what you will do if you want to check the given number what you will do for example for example if you want to check uh, let us assume you want to check 5 is prime or not let us assume you want to check 5 is prime or not then what you will do tell me you want to check 5 is prime or not you want to check 5 is prime or not then what you will do tell me then you will give a power 5 to this machine to this machine you will give this a power 5 yes or no you want to check 5 is prime or not then what you will do you will give this a power 5 to this machine and if this machine tells you yes then what it means if this machine tells you yes then what it means it means 5 is prime it means 5 is prime is it clear to everyone so why this why we study recognizing languages why we want to recognize languages what is interesting about recognizing languages so what is that that is recognizing languages is an abstract way of solving computational problems now is it clear tell me why we want to recognize languages because we want to solve problems okay so i hope this motivation is clear is this motivation clear for recognizing languages okay now let's see the next the next point that is automata what is this automata actually so far we have used this word machine so far whenever i have used this mas word machine so far this machine word i have used is this a physical machine this machine word i have used is this a physical machine this machine word i am using is this a physical machine this machine that i am so far this machine word i am using that will be a mathematical machine please please understand that that will be a mathematical machine okay that will be a mathematical machine mathematical machine what is the meaning of mathematical machine can anyone tell me like what do you think yes pen paper machine that will be a pen paper machine very good that will be a pen paper machine what that means 
mathematical machine that simply means there will be some rules there will be some some rules that we agree some rules that we agree there will be some rules that we agree some rules that we that we define some rules that we agree or i can say some rules that we define that's it some mathematical rules will be there some mathematical rules will be there that we agree or that we define so whatever i am saying what is a machine so far the word machine i am using that is basically a mathematical machine means this is just a pen and paper machine please understand this is just a pen and paper machine nothing else okay basically some rules are there some mathematical rules are there that we agree or that we define okay some rules we will agree that okay yeah these are the rules okay follow these rules and then you do it okay so this is a mathematical machine but before going to the mathematical machine can you give me some physical machines of computational can you give me some computational machines some computational machines i want to talk about okay i want to talk about some computational machines some computational machines i want to talk about let me tell you the physical machines or i can say the physical medium or physical models physical models what are the physical models of computational devices what are the physical models of computational devices so what is a what are the physical models what are the actual physical models of computational devices what are those computational devices like for example calculator i can say calculator for example your computer your computer okay and anything else anything else there are many thing yes so any cpu any cpu any cpu okay 8085 like 8085 cpu very good okay anything else okay <laughs> tell me from where you started when you were a very small child then what was your what uh, how did you count how did you do the computation on the fingers on the fingers yes okay so on the fingers you have done so these are some physical mediums of counting i can say these are the some physical mediums these are some physical models of computational okay yes or no is this clear so like this now let me tell you what are the so these are the physical models okay for example i can say i can say hp laptop i can say your mac okay i can say uh, something windows uh, something like that okay so these are some physical models now tell me one thing i want to ask what is that i want to ask if you want to study limit of computational devices if you want to study what can be computed what can not be computed if you want to study what can be what can be solved what can not be solved then which of them you will use tell me if you want to study tell me if you want to study which ca what can be computed what can not be computed which problem can be solved which problem can not be solved what a computer can do what a computer can not do okay what a machine any machine what a device can do what a computational device can do what a computational device can not do then what you will study will you study hp will you study windows hp laptop will you study mac laptop mac laptop will you study this 8085 will you study this will you study this no you will not study this because remember because remember if you study this then what is the problem if you study this then what is the problem the problem is this the limitation of mac may not be the limitation limitation of hp yes or no if this if this mac has some limitation some limitation this mac has okay then that may not be the limitation of hp if some limitation this has then this may not be the limitation of this okay limitation of one device may not be the limitation of another device so what we want to do if you want to study the limitation of computational devices then you should study some theoretical devices okay is this motivation clear basically we should study some theoretical models we should study we should study some theoretical or i can call it mathematical models we should study we should create some mathematical models we should create we should create some mathematical models and these mathematical models we should study and what are the models that we will study you can create your own model let me tell you you can create your own model but because remember what is a mathematical model this is a set of rules what is a mathematical model this is just a set of rules nothing else set of rules you can create your own own rules and you can create your own mathematical device 
so what are the mathematical models that we will study mathematical machines that we will study okay we will study finite automata we will study push down automata we will study turing machine so these are the models remember these are theoretical or machine these are i can say these are these are theoretical models of computational devices what are these if anyone ask you what are these then what are these these are mathematical models these are mathematical machines so these are mathematical models of computational devices okay let me tell you very interesting thing uh, actually actually remember so so from now onwards now so from now onwards what we will do we will study only we will study only so now we will only study mathematical machines these machines do not exist in the real life please understand these are just mathematical rules nothing else so the, now we will study mathematical models models of computational devices this is what we will study so the computational devices there are many computational devices like your laptop computer calculator and uh, and so on so but we will study the mathematical models of computational devices this is what we will study and what we will call them these mathematical models of computational devices what we will call them we will call them automata we will call them automata why we call them automata what is the reason we call them automata because the name itself this name is coming from automaton automatic this name is coming from automatic why we call it automatic do you remember in the first class i told you there is something automatic what is something automatic algorithm is something automatic program is something automatic yes or no your program your algorithm is automatic so this is automata automata means what is automata in the, for example if i create a automata for this language okay if i create this automata for this language w1 w2 w3 for this language if i create automata if i create a automata for this language then what it means it means that this will it change according to the input tell me will it change according to the input no it will not change according to the input it is automatic it is automatic you cannot change it you cannot change it but now whatever input you give it will tell you accept or reject if you give w1 it will accept okay and if you give w4 if you give w4 it will reject okay so this is the this is the behavior you cannot change it according to the particular input this is the automata for l this is the automata for l okay now for example your sorting algorithm if your this is your sorting algorithm now whatever input you give it will do the sorting okay this is auto this is automatic i can say your your algorithm is automatic okay so like that so this is the idea so mathematical model of computational devices that is called automata and this automata we will study from now onwards okay so in our syllabus what we have so remember computers are very messy these computers if you see these computers we cannot study so we need a simpler machine if you want to discuss computing machines if you want to discuss computing machine then we need some simpler way and what is that that is automaton or you can call it automata this is a mathematical model of computing device this is just a mathematical model mathematical model means this is just set of rules nothing else this is only set of rules on the cop on the paper pen on the on paper okay now so this is the idea so you can notice computers are very complicated we cannot study computers okay but automata are very simple automata are clean computers are messy but automata are clean okay so you can notice that automata what it does it makes it possible to reason about computability like what can be computed what cannot be computed what problem can be solved what problem we cannot solve okay so basically the automata it makes it possible to talk about computability in abstract way okay so like this so this is the idea i hope all these points are clear so after the break we will study our first model of computation our first theoretical model of computation that is finite automata okay this is just a theoretical model some set of rules the, we will study these rules what are the rules we will study and according to the rules we will create we will recognize languages very simple yes or no finite automata this is a set of rules we will study set of rules these rules we will study what are the rules the definition we will study and then we will recognize languages okay and then we will see which languages can be recognized which languages cannot be recognized by finite automata what are the limitations of finite automata okay 
वंस वी स्टडी द लिमिटेशन ऑफ फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा देन वी विल क्रिएट मोर पावरफुल ऑटोमेटा वी विल क्रिएट मोर पावरफुल मॉडल्स लाइक योर कैलकुलेटर that has some limitations okay so from the calculator we create computer similarly first we will study finite automata then we will study limitations of finite automata what are the limitations which languages can not be recognized by finite automata then we will create some powerful machines some powerful theoretical machines we will create okay okay thank you